Well, howdy there, internet people. It's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk about Congress and following the money on the campaign trail. Whether we like it or not, campaign cash matters. Campaigns that are short on cash have trouble getting their message out. Campaigns that have lots of small and first-time donors tend to have strong popular support. Campaigns aren't all about money and having access to cash doesn't guarantee a win, but it certainly doesn't hurt. So what does the fundraising situation say right now? When talking about what he called the quote, massive financial disparity, the executive director of the National Republican Senatorial Committee said, quote, unless something changes drastically in the next six weeks, we will lose winnable seats. House Republicans aren't better off, saying they need more than $30 million. What's worse for Republicans is that while there's a general trend of Republicans trailing their Democratic counterparts in fundraising, the gap seems to be most pronounced in races where the incumbent Republican is in a seat viewed as flippable. This trend applies to both the House and the Senate. The polling about which party Americans want controlling Congress is matching up with the GOP's fundraising woes. The polling average on which party people will support has the Democratic Party at 47% and Republicans at 44.4%. So why is the GOP in so much trouble? Well, like most of the party's woes, it can be traced back to one person. The Republican Party is the party of big business. However, the GOP nominated a presidential candidate who is bad for the economy. The CEOs don't get their economic news from Fox, and they know Trump tanked the economy before COVID. The economy is finally getting back on track from Trump's erratic economic policy. They don't want to go through it again. Some are holding back their funding. Some have actually switched. Trump has spent weeks trying to get the crypto community to support him. If you happen to be in D.C. on the 13th and have a few thousand to spare, you might be able to still get tickets to a fundraiser where the attendees will be crypto investors and executives. The fundraiser is for Harris, not Trump. Then there's the obvious issue with donations to the Republicans. Remember back around Valentine's Day when Laura Trump, current co-chair at the RNC, promised to spend, quote, every single penny on getting Trump elected. Those who want Trump elected will donate to him directly. Those who don't are going to be more reluctant to donate to Republican causes because they don't want it to be siphoned off to support Trump. Then you have to add in reporting from CNN about a week ago that showed how some donations to Republican congressional candidates wound up being spent at Trump's businesses. Even if the expenses are fair market value and normal campaign expenses, the appearance is probably pretty off-putting. All of this adds up to a situation where Republican congressional candidates are trying desperately to keep up with Trump's ever-changing positions on national issues and are lacking the funds needed to get explanations of their new Trump-demanded positions out to the public. Trump is unlikely to come to the GOP's aid as he is desperately trying to reverse course on his own campaign and find some way to correct his own failing poll numbers. You're likely to see the Democratic Party try to capitalize on this and launch another concerted advertising blitz in the coming weeks as the campaign enters the final stretch. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.